In this video we're going to make a gate that you or a door that you can't go through and you're going to pick up a key and then you will be able to go through it. So <clears throat> so I've already started off with some models. I found or a student found that one and I made this one. So I just popped the 3DS file and the FBX file. Those are just 3D model files. I clicked and dragged and brought them in here. Now Sometimes when you pop it in, you may notice that's a really big key. Um, 3D uh, modeling you know, programs don't always know how to talk to each other with scale. It's not always clear, so you click it here, and up here there's a scale factor. And I'm going to make it a lot smaller. And same thing here, this guy's really big. So I'm going to click on this, scale factor. And those are about right. The gate is on the floor. I'm going to make rotation 90. Okay. So now I've got a gate. Um, let's just set up a nice little thing here. Okay. So now we have a gate. And we have a key. Now if I press play, of course I can actually go through this. <laughs> so that's no good. Um, when you put a model in, if you want to run into it, you got to click the model, the, the game object we've got. You have to add a mesh collider. It uses the 3D mesh to come up with a way to make a collision. Hey, why is it still not working? Oh yeah, okay, so this gate here is a container. It doesn't really have the 3D model on it. When you expand it, one of these, ah, so you see all the, the faces light up. This is actually what you want to do the mesh collider with. And this guy, you, you don't need it there. So this is what you want to do a mesh collider with. There we go. So cannot go through that door. Here's the key, except, hey, we can't pick it up. So you want to have a look at another video, uh, as I'm not going to explain it so much, either Ammunition or Checkpoint. They both use this. I'm really going to copy that. We're going to call this um, Key Item. And open this up. So I'm really just going to copy that code because it's so similar. So have a look at the ammunition or the checkpoint video. I'm going to change this to dot key count. This variable doesn't exist yet, so we're going to go into game variables. I'm going to make a new one called key count. Okay, and I do I need to start key count. I wonder if, if that'll work. Maybe it starts at zero. We'll see. Uh, where the heck did it go? Key item. Okay. So if the player runs into the key, it will do that. Now we have our key right here. I'm going to add a, let's say, a box collider. You know, it doesn't have to be a mesh collider. I don't need to use the whole mesh. I'll just make a simple box. Make it mesh collider, box collider. The size, I'm just going to make it a standard box. You can see the green, that's what we'll have to collide with. And of course it's an is trigger. And then we're going to add that key item script. So this will pick up the key. It won't open the gate though. But we can pick up the key now. And we should, now the idea is we go here and I'll make the gate disappear. You can make it fall down or something or whatever. I'm going to go simple and just make it disappear. So the same idea, we need a uh, on trigger enter. Um, I'm going to, hmm. I'm going to attach it to the gate container here because this doesn't really matter. Add component and again a box collider. You don't really want to collide with the green here. I'm going to have to move this around. So the size, going to make it bigger. 
bigger, bigger, whatever. Yeah, just make it a box. That'll that'll work. Three, three, three. Doesn't really matter. You know, in the general area. And of course, is trigger. So on this same thing that has the box glider, we're gonna well we need to make a new script, call it key gate and open this up. And really once again, very whoops, very similar to ammunition, checkpoint, and key item. It's all very, very simple, very, very similar. Key gate is right here. So when we run into the key gate, if it's the player and game variables dot key count is greater than zero, then we're gonna use a key. Key count. So decrease how many keys we have by one. And then yeah, destroy the gate. You could do um, you could do ooh, game object dot add component rigid body. So that you know, well capital R. This would make it so the gate could then be blasted blasted down with a, a projectile, you know, you could I don't know, make it change color and explode or whatever. But, you know, going to keep it simple. Destroy. But you can do anything you want with a game object at this point. Um, so, back here. Gate. Attach our key gate. And, of course, we go here. It's not, you know, it's a wall. But, if we pick up the key, now our variable key count is increased by one, and we go here, boom, the gate's gone, we can go through.